Hey what's up guys it's Bonnie here from Android.com this is the all new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus that was just launched today as my first video of the S20 lineup i'm going to be showing you guys the initial setup of the S20 Plus so that you can see what's new when you set up your new Galaxy if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now and let's go ahead and set up the new Galaxy S20 Plus When you power on your device for the very first time, this is the first page that you will see. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I had to go ahead and uh, select the language. So I'm gonna so go ahead and select English United States. Then I can go ahead and hit on next. So the big speed guide will also be there. If you want to disable the guide, you can go ahead and hit on this button over here. So since I don't want that, I'm gonna disable that. But if you prefer the guide, you can have that over there as well and then you can go ahead and enable all of this and then you can go ahead and connect to whatever wi-fi network that you have so i'm going to quickly go ahead and connect to my wi-fi network so once you have connected to the wi-fi the device will go ahead and check for any of the software updates if there's anything available so we'll give it a few minutes to complete that and let's continue with the setup so as you guys can see the phone changed over here to installing updates so that means the phone has detected that there is a new update that is available so over the network it's updating the phone right here so that we have the latest software experience on our smartphone all right now you have the option to copy apps and data from one of your devices that you have or you can um, do a fresh install so in this case i'm gonna go ahead and do a fresh install so i'm gonna go ahead and select don't copy but if you want to transfer your data from a previous device you can uh, hit on next there and go ahead with that setup if you are if you guys want to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to transfer from your previous phone to this one go ahead and smash that like button right now maybe i'll come up with a video for that for you guys later on now i have successfully logged into my google account so now it will just take a few seconds to set everything up with google so here i have uh, a note from the google assistant as well now i have to go ahead and agree to all the google services and now comes the interesting part so here i can go ahead and set up the fa face recognition the fingerprints uh, or whatever uh, protection mechanism that you want to include on your smartphone so in this case let's go ahead and check out the new face recognition system on this so um, we, we get a pop-up like this so i go ahead and set a pattern really quickly something like this so now here i have to go ahead and select whether i wear glasses or not so i'm going to select yes because i am wearing glasses right now and now i have to go ahead and register face really fast and now it tells me to remove the glasses so i've done that go ahead and hit on continue and now my face has been registered for face unlock so now uh, it gives this option to stay on the lock screen on this so basically what this will do is if this is on when the phone recognizes you it will not directly load you into the phone but if you want the phone to automatically load you into the home page then you have to go ahead and disable this so since i want the phone to automatically go ahead onto the screen uh, I've, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that and hit on next so here are some other useful settings that are available so I'll talk more about these settings later on in an upcoming uh, tips video for the S20 series so if you guys want to see that definitely stay tuned right here so here anyway we have uh, the Samsung account set up so I'm gonna skip that for now and then we are done with the setup of the S20 Plus. So just like this, now we are in the final step. It says all done. All I have to do now is go ahead and hit on that glorious finish button. And now we are booting in to the S20 Plus. So this is the home screen. We have the brand new wallpaper right over here. So if I go into the wallpaper section really quickly, let me show you the new wallpapers that are available on the S20 series so we have this one and this one those are video wallpapers looks pretty cool so let me quickly set that as my lock screen wallpaper so let me show, show that to you guys 
Wow, the face unlock is really fast as you guys saw over there. The phone really quickly unlocked uh, because I was looking at the screen. So let me do that one more time. So just like that, the face unlock works really fast on this device. So going into the settings area and heading in, heading into about phone, you guys can see the model that I have over here is the SMG985F of the Galaxy S20 Plus. Stay tuned right here on Android Auto because I'm gonna have coverage of the S20 as well as the S20 Ultra. So definitely stay tuned and let's uh, go ahead and talk more deeply about all of those devices in the future. Now, uh, heading back into the settings area, let me quickly go over uh, the other new things. Now, if you go into the display settings over here, you can go ahead and select the screen refresh rate, which is uh, the most amazing part about the display on the new s20 series so you can go ahead and select this high 120 hertz uh, and the refresh rate onto the s20 so with that you guys can see uh, surely not on video but i can really feel how smooth this phone really is it's really uh, really snappy here um i'm sure you guys can you you guys won't be able to experience this at the same to the same level that I can uh, in real life. So I would strongly recommend you guys to go ahead and uh, go to a store and check out this once it is available. Or if you are planning to pick one up, I'm sure the display will be a feature that you are going to really enjoy on the S20 series. So uh, other than that, um, there are more features that are built into the S20 series now um, we're talking about feature additions we also have some stuff missing we don't have the Bixby button anymore and uh, just like with the Note 10 series Samsung has uh, got rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so we don't have that uh, here anymore but the display looks stellar the cameras look pretty awesome so far in my testing it looks pretty good so I'm, I'll be coming out with my full review of the Galaxy S20 plus so stay tuned right here as well as my full coverage on the s20 ultra coming very soon so um other than that uh, let me quickly open up the camera as well and let me show you the modes that are available so here uh, we have the same old uh, the camera ui that we are all familiar with but we have this single take option uh, that is a new mode that is available that will capture a series of pictures as well as short clips so it's uh, something pretty good that I will discuss later on in my full review. So stay tuned to that video if you guys want to see and learn all about that. And another highlight on the S20 series is definitely the uh, 8K video recording that we have over here on this. So uh, that's something that you can really try. But uh, keep in mind that uh, your, that will take a big hit on your storage so make sure that you get a high tier variant of the S20 series or you pick up a really good or solid uh, micro SD card to increase your capacity and also once you have set up your device I would strongly recommend you to go into the settings and go to software updates and go to uh, download and install over here and make sure that your phone is running the latest version of Android just like I am right now so the, uh, currently I'm running the latest version uh, that is available and also heading to the Google Play Store and install all of the amazing applications that are going to be available here especially whatever games that you uh, love now for an example I'm definitely going to be installing Call of Duty Mobile onto this because I really can't wait to play and experience it on my new Galaxy S20 Plus so um, if you guys have any video sessions featuring this S20 Plus or the S20 Ultra let me know by dropping a comment down below and I'll definitely make that happen and for pricing and availability and all other information definitely stay tuned for my full review coming very soon right here on Android Dollar. So with all of that being said guys uh, smash that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and uh, if you are not following me on social media already definitely do so because that's where I post all the behind the scenes and updates. I am at Android Dollar. All the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Ban signing out.